Hey, thanks for tuning in to The Daily Devo. My name is Mike, and today we're gonna talk about building a life that's made to last. So the last home I bought, I chose to lean on a good friend of mine. He was a home builder early in his life. And this guy, he had an incredible knowledge about building homes, and he was a genius when it came to making sure you were getting the right house for the right price in the right neighborhood. But there was a problem. This guy was absolutely obsessed with how structurally sound a house was, like to the most ridiculous extent. And I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that unless he like personally built a house and it was ready to withstand like South Florida hurricane force winds, uh, he believed the house was just an absolute piece of junk. That got really old. My wife and I, we would fall in love with this house. He would come over, he would look at it, and he would tell us something ridiculous, like how the foundation was poured the wrong time of the year. Or we'd be all excited about the layout or a kitchen backsplash, and he would come look at the house, and he would tell me the name of the builder, and like the builder was new and hadn't earned enough merit in the city to be considered a great builder with a great reputation, tell us, don't buy the house. Needless to say, his value for strength and stability of a home was way higher on the list than it was on our list. Right, we were looking at backsplash in the bathroom and he was researching subcontractors that were used in the construction of the home. And we find here in 2 Peter that he's talking to us about something very similar to this. He says this in verse number 12. He says, therefore, I will always remind you about these things, even though you already know them, and are standing firm in the truth you have been taught. Okay, so in a day or two, we're gonna talk about how sometimes we need reminded of some things. But today I want us to consider the words of Peter, where he said this, he said, stand firm in the truth that you have been taught. Now we don't have time right now, but we, we could jump over to the gospels of Matthew and Luke, and we could read where Jesus was teaching a group of people. And he told a story, it was called a parable, of two builders, a wise builder and a foolish builder. And in this teaching illustration that he gives, Jesus exposes there are two kinds of people who build their life. There are people who build their life firmly on truth, and there are people who build their life avoiding truth and the steadfastness of what they believe. And in this teaching, Jesus and now Peter, he's reminding us that in our lives, we have a chance to anchor ourselves to the truth of what God says, as opposed to the shifts of our lives and the shifts of the culture we live in. And think about it this way. My friend, who was obsessed with the structural integrity of a house, he was reminding me that there was more to something being built than the paint that was on the walls. That there was something behind the layers of paint, something behind the tile that meant more than how something looked from the outside. And Peter's doing the same thing for you and I. He wants you and I to be followers of Jesus who make decisions and go about our days and live with our families and build values that are richer and deeper and stronger than the shifts of 2019. He wants us to be firmly established in the truth that we have in the words of God. So here's today's reminder. Build your life, build your family, build your values, build the emotional dialogue that you have internally with yourself, build your spending habits, build your self-care rituals, build all of these things by firmly establishing yourself in the truth of God's word. Because here's the great news. The truths of God's word they're worthy to be trusted. The words of Jesus are worth anchoring your life to. They're worth raising your kids under. They're, they are for your family. They are for your health. They are for your relationships. So let's lay a good, strong foundation for our faith. Let's always remind ourselves of the basics. And let's build lives that can withstand the storms of today.